This week, Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler released a new plan to replace his old camping ban that a judge paused several months ago. It prohibits camps that are blocking sidewalks, ADA ramps, businesses, or any property where the city posts no trespassing signs. It would also make it unlawful to go onto private property, start fires, and build up garbage and debris, among other things. This plan allows for a fine of up to $100 and or seven days of jail time. But it can only be enforced if there are shelter spaces available and people refuse to leave the place where they're camping. You may remember the last camping ban has strict rules about banning camping between the hours of 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. with colored maps showing where people could and could not camp. This proposal is less restrictive, which is partly why the mayor thinks this one will survive any legal challenges. We have used information both from the court system, information that the plaintiffs who originally opposed our original ordinance had stated, information that we got from service providers and others, and we've put together a package that we think is responsive to the criticisms that we heard. Now, we didn't actually get a full opinion from the court on why the court enjoined our original ordinance, uh, but we believe we have enough information. We're very confident that this particular ordinance that we're bringing forward on the 18th will survive legal scrutiny. The mayor called the ordinance a sliver of a much larger strategy to address homelessness in our area and said the law enforcement component is a last ditch effort for those who do not want help. So if we give carrot after carrot after carrot to somebody, if we offer him shelter and they say, nope, I don't want it, and they continue to camp in the public right of way, they continue to block doorways, they continue to have lawn furniture and garbage all over the place, we now have law enforcement tools that we can bring to bear for those who just don't want help. It's a last ditch effort, uh, but we need those law enforcement tools along with all of the other humanitarian services that we're providing. The public wants us to create a humane approach that connects people to services, but they also want us and they have a right to expect that we will maintain public safety in the public right of way. And this set of tools allows us to do that. Obviously, shelter beds are a huge part of this. They need to be available for people for this plan to be enforceable. And Mayor Wheeler says hundreds more will become available soon. He says in the not too distant future, and it's going to be in the form of second and third mass encampments. City Council will consider the proposal for the first time on April 18th, with a possible vote coming the following week.